In this video, we'll discuss overcoming resistance to change. Being watchful, precautious, and reflective while taking your time to do important things might have their advantages, but if your habit is inching more towards procrastination, then it could be that you are resistant to change. And frankly speaking, you are not alone. Most people, in some way or the other, are resistant to change because of the level of uncertainty it brings with it. Recognizing any resistance to change. Truth is, most people hold many assumptions about change. They resist it because it is unknown and therefore frightening. It takes effort to act on changes, and some aren't so keen on putting in that effort. Some don't believe they can see the results they seek, and so why try? Others think they don't deserve to be happy, and so don't change to improve their situations. Some get so lost and stuck up in the cycle of anxiety that they fail to recognize the scope for change, for a better life. While most of these thoughts are indeed assumptions, they can become the very beliefs that stand in the way of what you want to achieve. Take the quiz below to know if you are resistant to change. Worksheet 8. The Fear of Change Quiz. Check the statements that resonate with your feelings. I can take a risk, but what if I fail? Maybe I should not. I could seek help, but what if no one offers? What if I get rejected? I always have trouble acting on changes. What if I mess up again? What's the point? I always get my hopes up but fail and get disappointed. I can't do this. I'll never change. Why try? I don't want to fail again. I'm too anxious to succeed. Belief systems that stop you from acting on a change. It's better to be realistic and accept my shortcomings. I'm not going to change. I know that. I'm not as good as the others. Surely, I can't compete with them. I don't want to ask for help. It will make my weaknesses obvious and then everyone will know. I don't think anyone cares. No one will help me. I messed up when I could have made things better. That was my only chance. I can't do anything now and must settle for what comes my way. Self-sympathy. Self-loathe. Anxiety. Depression. I am helpless. No one cares and no one will help. I've been misunderstood and mistreated all my life. No one changed for me, so why should I change? They don't realize that I don't like being this way, that I have no choice. This is so unfair. Oh, forget it. I'm hopeless. I hate myself. People will mock me. They already are. I know it and I want to hide. There is no point. I can't see any purpose in my life. I'm so alone and I want to cry. What do you see? The more checks you have, the more you are resistant to change. While the above statements might not be pleasant to realize about oneself, it isn't entirely your fault if you hold any or many of these blocking beliefs. People pick these ideas as a result of the circumstances and experiences they've lived. What's important is that you can change. We all can. You can change right now, or you can try and fail and try again. Both are normal and positive outcomes. Keep at it because the harder you try and the more you persist, the more likely you're going to become the change. Worksheet 9. Acting on your change blocking systems. From the statements checked off above, write down each of your change blocking beliefs. Write down their justifications. Why do you do them? Introspect and elaborate. What are the advantages of changing that belief? What are the disadvantages too? Weigh them. What scores higher? Are your beliefs causing you more harm than good? What's stopping you from embracing the change? Make a list of small actions to reach the bigger change you seek. Work on consistency first. Force yourself to do one action at a time, completely. Do it every time. The more you work on your consistency, the more habitualized your routine will become. Rewriting your life, one change at a time. Our minds are capable of wonderful things. They can envision a beautiful life. They can create stories, piece together minute details that together give the story the ending it needs. Use this to advantage. Talk to your mind. Listen to it too. Establish a relationship with it and once it feels heard and starts responding, teach it to create positive and inspirational thoughts for you. Plant the seeds to begin the story. For instance, you want to work on your fitness and want to start a jogging routine every morning. Imagine yourself doing this every day. Imagine your life just as you want it to be. Remember to be realistic in your narrative, so keep the struggles too because when you do, you give your mind a heads up of what might come its way. Think about the success you are going to achieve. 
Imagine and feel it too. These images are powerful building blocks. They can then be picked up by your mind to build and breathe life. As they say, you dream and you become. Steve has always had trouble embracing change. He works in a multinational company but has been stuck in the same position for the past 15 years. It's not like he doesn't want to change. He craves for change in his job. He wants to do something new, but he is unwilling to learn and adapt to new methods. As a result, he does what he is told to do and nothing more. Most colleagues his age have jumped a couple or more positions. It does bother him, but he believes he can't do anything about it. He struggles to stay focused and interested at work and hence isn't as effective as the others. His peers are younger, and he thinks that's why they turn out smarter. He also thinks they secretly make fun of him. His batchmates are way up in the ladder to socialize with anymore, or so he thinks, and he doesn't make efforts to mingle with the younger lads too. As a result of all this, his anxiety has taken an ugly turn. He's anxious all the time. Fortunately, an old friend notices Steve's behavior and reaches out to him. He tells him about his resistance to change and how that is stopping him from becoming a better version of himself. Because Steve is at a point when he really wants to change, he listens. He decides to give change a shot. He makes plans and decides to act on them, one change at a time. He also reaches out to his family and other friends for support. They all want to help and do their best to keep him motivated. Two years down the line, Steve is a complexly transformed person. He works harder and smarter and even mingles with all his colleagues. He's made plenty of new friends and enjoys his weekends with family. He's going to complete his master's from a prestigious university and is looking forward to the new prospects that will bring him. Steve is happy. He hardly feels anxious anymore and when he does, he knows how to stay on top of it. His family and friends are happy for Steve and love spending time with him. Well, like Steve, you too can rewrite your current life script. You can become the change you always wanted to be. The time is now.